Hey, what's going on guys? It's Austin here, back with another Brawl Stars video. Today, as you can see on screen, we are going to be going through the Reddit. There is a new exploit slash glitch going around, so we'll go over that. There seems to be a ton every single time we get on here, and there seems to be a new one every single day with these power-ups and such for the Angel and Demon power-ups. But, without further ado, let's get into it. If you enjoy the video, Drop a like, subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. And if we get there by the end of the Brawl Pass, we will be giving away a Brawl Pass Plus to one of you lucky subscribers. But let's get into it. So this first post comes from Odd Strength 3120. How many 3v3 wins do you guys have? This guy has 11,500 which is kind of insane because you're only at 32,000 trophies. I don't know what the core correlation is with that, but I think I'm around 2.8,000 ish 3v3 wins and I'm at almost 30k trophies. So I don't really know what's going on, but let me know down in the comments what you guys have. 69 max win streak clutch all right let's move on to the next post this next post comes from luca ttii they fixed it so if you guys didn't know there was a bug saying that even though you got x amount of wins you were only given four star drops or whatever so for all star support started sending out your angelic slash demonic star drops i'm not sure if they gave you more than what you were supposed to because this one says angelic eight angelic and seven demonic maybe it just coordinated with what you picked that day like if you got four angelic you got the other eight or if you got four demonic you add the other seven for both of them but if you guys ever had an issue with that they are giving them back out which is great i think that is amazing they needed to do this because a lot of people were losing out on star drops which ultimately they'll lose out on skins so i'm glad they did that let's move on to the next post this next post from comes from giga gaming 1256 so apparently brawl stars won the brawl stars mobile game of the year which is really cool i wasn't sure that brawl stars would win this but brawl stars is just such a growing community especially Every single year when Brawladays comes out, there's tons of things to get when Brawladays comes out. So it's really great. And over time, they've been just updating the game, keeping it fresh, new metas and such, new brawlers, and new additions to the game in general. So shout out to the Brawl Stars and Supercell team for keeping it new and fresh for us, honestly. A lot of people are saying W's. Look, I know it has some scans, but the core game is amazing. Having multiple brawlers, each with their own abilities, is something I wanted in the game for so long until I found it. I've been playing this game for three years, and now watching it grow is one of the best feelings I've ever experienced. Can't agree more. Yeah, I played it when it first came out. I wasn't a big fan. I liked it, but now I'm really sold on it. I love it. It's one of their, obviously, top-performing games as Supercell goes forward. So hopefully they don't give up on it or make it like clash royale i loved clash royale and then they started adding tons of random stuff into the game and it just completely demolished the game in my opinion like i can't play that game anymore i barely even get on i i don't know it, you guys know what i'm talking about if, if you know you know let's move on to the next post this one comes from the no toxic edgar main the hardest decision ever to make me buying a skin for a brawler you will 100 percent be playing waiting till November 29th for every Black Friday skin just so I get a very good slash cheap skin for a brawler I'll never play. Yeah, this is kind of one of those things that you could spend bling on and such. I'm not sure how this is going to go because I have 35,000 bling, so hopefully the skins for Black Friday will be bling related, not gem related. I know it's probably going to be gem related. They need to make their money. But if it could be bling, that'd be great. I got 35000 of it, and I, I'm willing to spend, especially if they are going to be half or even a quarter off. So stay tuned for that. Do not buy any skins until November 29th. If you didn't see my previous video, I talked about that. Do not buy any skins until Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. They will be giving out good deals 
and most likely i don't want to say for sure but most likely they do they do it almost every single year so stay tuned for that let's move on to the next post Alrighty, guys we are back so this is, comes from vudu s-e-m-i-h i also agree this is the buggiest update so far 100 percent is the buggiest update so far so this one was found out by rst1 slav I'm not sure who that is. Shout out to him for finding this and shout out to V-U-D-U-S-E-M-I-H for sharing it with us in the community. But it says, new critical bug in the game. If you use super with rebirth ability on Bonnie or Mo in timing, you can create a clone that can take damage, accumulate zone in hot zone, score a goal in brawl ball. So as you see here, Mo is going to be one shot. And this isn't a test game. This isn't a practice match or whatever, just so we can see. So I'm going to kind of go frame by frame. So he throws his. So as soon as he's going to get hit, I don't know who he's getting hit by, but as soon as he's getting hit, that's going to eliminate him. But he pops his super and he lands. The rebirth ability is there. He's still moving this way and the zone is going up as you can see this is the real player the zone is still going up and this is a fake player and i'm not sure how this even happens but it happens as well with bonnie so nani just shot bonnie let me go back a little bit let me go back a little bit there we go so bonnie gets shot by nani and she uses her ability immediately jumps out and it has a clone there that heals up itself too. Heals up and can take damage. It's like a cover. So this is just insane. Such a buggy update. I love the update though. It's just super, super buggy. And I don't really understand how people even figure these out. Like you had to have some impeccable timing to figure out that Bonnie can do this and Mo can do this. But yeah, just be aware. Hopefully it gets fixed soon, but we'll see. But shout out to RST1SLAB again for figuring this out and for VUDUSEMIH for sharing it with the community. Just be aware of that, but let's move on to the next post. Alrighty, this one comes from Spectrum Reddit. I know it's not rare anymore, but first 1K. Congratulations, Spectrum Reddit. But I just wanted to know how many of you guys have a brawler at 1K? I personally do not. I'm still trying to push up to 30K. And I'm going to try and get 1,000 trophies per season from here on out. So hopefully that doesn't take too much time. I've gotten about 1,000 trophies now. I'm trying to get to 30K for when I open the Brawl Pass Plus. But you'll see that video on Friday. Tomorrow, I guess, as you're watching this. But let's move on to the next post. Alrighty, this one comes from Valuable Education 5. It's not that hard to see the modifier. How dumb can you be? So... I wanted to talk about this. I have been experiencing a lot of people not looking at the modifiers, such as this one right here. We have Frank in the no stun, sick beats, where people cannot be stunned. And Frank is kind of useless in that, in my opinion. He's good, just not as good. And what makes him the best is when he can stun, and in Bell's Rock, he's not that good. But just be wary, make sure you're looking at the modifier and looking at the game mode but that's all I have to say about that. Let's move on to the next post. All right, this one comes from hammer147 underscore. I make maps, hammer147. What's the best map here? Would you like these maps to be added in the game? So first off, we have a three lane heist map. I kind of like this. It looks nice, left lane, right lane, pretty mirrored. And then you have the indestructible walls in the middle. This would be a good map, I think. I'm not sure how I feel too much about it, but I think it would play good. It's hard to say how these maps would play. So, but just looking at it, it looks good. This one looks like a brawl ball map. I like this. I feel like there's too many indestructible walls though, in my opinion. I think maybe these ones can be destroyable maybe. And then these ones not. I think that would look good. And these are uneven. I'm just bothering my symmetric this little piece right here should be here as well but i like this i like this map a lot of them are really nice and this being able to be destroyed is nice as well so i think this is a w map next up we have a i assume probably knockout map or yeah probably a knockout map 
I don't mind this one. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind it. It'd be a big sniper map, but knockout's really about snipers anyway. So I think this is a good map. You're doing super good so far, Hammer. Um, this one, I, are these green pads the speed boost? Because if that's the case, I don't really like that. Uh, I also don't really like this map setup, really. You have to break these walls for sure. I think this is a mid map. No offense, but I think it's a mid map. This one kind of just looks like the, ah, I forget, I just played it, but it looks similar to another map where it literally has these two lanes right here and then there's bushes right here. And then it's a, a gem grab map. But yeah, the this is pretty similar to that one. So I would say this is not going to be added either. This one looks pretty similar to another hot zone map where you have this one over there with the indestructible wall right here and same with over here and then you have the grass over here looks pretty similar i don't mind it i just don't really i don't know it's okay eight out of ten this one indestructible walls okay uh, brawl ball map okay i'll give it eight and a half out of ten this looks very similar to the last one but i guess every map's gonna look similar in its own way i like the presents for Christmas time, that's really cool. This reminds me of the map, the knockout map, where you have like the bushes here and then nothing in the middle and then you have bushes here that go all the way to spawn. But I don't think it'll be bad. I think it'll play well. I think this one would play well, nine out of 10. And last but not least, this is going to be, I don't even know what this game, trophy is? No, it's not even trophy escape. I don't even know what game mode this is, but uh, I think this would, nah, I don't know. I don't think this would play well. I think I give this one a seven out of 10. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these new maps that potentially could be added to the game. Hammer, shout out to you for making these maps. These are really good maps and hopefully they actually do end up in the game, some of them. But leave it down in the comments if you guys like these maps or not. Let's move on to the next post. This is going to be the final post of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload. But here we are, Astro Misa opening up a demonic star drop. And this is going to be a level three, which is hopefully gonna be a skin of some sort. And it's going to be 100 gems. I totally forgot that 100 gems was a potential offer that you can get or a potential reward that you can get. So let me know down in the comments, would you rather have a hypercharge or skin in general or 100 gems? I think I'd rather take 100 gems, not gonna lie, because you'll be able to use a lot of those come November 29th for Black Friday. So yeah, I forgot that was totally, I slipped my mind that that was a reward. So I just wanted to keep you guys informed on that. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.